All right, the jet lag explorers and the dodo warriors hey. back with another one. Let's eat. One high blue chest. Please. All right, 10 lei for three items. Wow. We got uh, corvidge, which is like a pretzel. Mm -hmm. We've got um, high du chesk, which is the greatest thing you could possibly eat. This is a must have. It's uh, cream cheese, ham, inside a salty pretzel bread. Okay. It's amazing. And the other one is spicy sausage. I actually got them mixed up. They look the same. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we can start with this. This is a nice snack. So this is like the Romanian pretzel. Yes, and it's got sesame seeds. It got sunflower, sunflower seeds, I should say. Good? Mm. How is it different than pretzel? Not very salty. Oh, okay. No, it's sunflower seed flavor, not salty. Ah. Still good. This will go good with a cold beer. Right, right, right. Because right. it's kind of like a bread product, you know? Yeah. Very good. <laughs> but these are the main course. This to me is perfect street food. I don't know which one it is, but it's so handy to eat. It's small, it's cheap. I think it's like three lei for one. And when you bite into it, it's warm and delicious and fresh baked. This is good stuff. Now, is this the spicy sausage or the haidu chask? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> which one? Mmm. Spicy sausage. Sausage. And uh, like cabbage, like purple. Cabbage. What makes it purple? Mm. Cabbage. 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 Onion. Onion. What did you get? This oh, is high chest. Chest. This, this is the one you want, guys. This yes. is a so good. Because the cream cheese in there with the salty bread, amazing. Mm -hmm. What's your this favorite, is my one? favorite one? High do chest. Yeah. Four, four, it's four. the best one. So? Mm. Is it really spicy? No. It's spicy sausage. Um, not spicy at all. All right. You know what it is? It's European spicy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is not spicy. European spicy. Right? <laughs> it's actually quite good. Quite this. a bit of cabbage in there. But to be clear, Haidu Chesk is the one you cannot beat. All right. Mm. Get the other one. Very good, though. Okay, look at this, guys. This is the one you cannot beat, guys. Mm -hmm. This is the greatest thing you could possibly eat. Again, three lay or so. Okay. Like 75 cents American. Mm. <laughs> and actually, Mike introduced us to Haidu Chesk. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> there it's is a story, cool. right? What does this mean? Um, the name of this Kovrig is basically an outlaw. Outlaw? Yeah, this is more or less combines the traditional Romanian food into one simple shape thing. And the Haiduch were the outlaws of the mountains who were usually taking from the rich and giving to the poor. Okay. There's mm. a story for you. Mm. Oh, like Robin Hood. Mm -hmm. Taking from the rich and giving to the poor. Yeah. And that's why they named the snack ever. Mm. The greatest thing you could possibly oh my eat. God. This yes. is six stars. Perfect street food. The size, the temperature, how easy it is to eat. Perfect street food. Mm. Mm. Really good. This is like um, the cabbage is like salad almost. It got like really creamy salad. Yes. Yeah. But this is the cream cheese is so good. Mm. Oh, they're all good. I wonder how many calories this is. This is a whole meal or a snack? One meal or one snack? Snacks. Snacks. So we could have two. Yeah. Yeah. Or three. Mike has four. No, I had one. <laughs> I'm okay. There you All have right. it, guys. All right, let's keep going. Lots of food to eat mm -hmm. in this video. Mm -hmm. uh, we're wearing our stretchy pants today. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, we uh, got this from Luca. Yeah. It's one of the most famous Bakeries. brand bakery in uh, Romania. They got that bakery mm. like, everywhere, almost everywhere. All right, let's go. I just saw pizza shop here and I think I'm gonna get a slice because Steve finished all the food we just bought. <laughs> I only got half of that spicy sausage bread. Yo, high do chest, you cannot share. <laughs> you, that cream cheese and ham roll, you cannot share. And the corporate, he finished all the, like that big bread. <laughs> so I'm gonna get sorry, some sorry. pizza. Okay, time for pizza. Okay, look at this, take out in a box. This costs nine lei for one slice. So really two meals for 18 lei. Ooh, flippy floppy. Look at this. Whoa. It looks good though. It's mushroom. a good order. You got the mushroom and the meat. Good order. Mmm. You 
Mm -hmm. Try it. Mm. It was very good. Mm -hmm. Could use a little sauce, like garlic dip or something. No, it's good. It's pretty good. It's light on the sauce, heavy on the ingredients, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Less tomato sauce and more ingredients. Yes, yeah. that's the Romanian way. Is that the this Romanian way? way? Yeah. Less Not tomato. so much sauce. Yeah, a lot of people want more stuff on their pizza. Ah. Mm. In Canada, I think it's more saucy. Yeah. I, know, I prefer right? it more simple. The simple, the better. This uh. is the Romanian pizza, not Romanian too much pizza. sauce on it. Yeah. It's a little bit, uh, but it's still good. Lots. I think they put it's more cheese of, though. More yeah, cheese, and more crispy, mm. and more dry. Mm. Crispy and dry, yeah. Crispy and dry. Interesting. And more cheese, less sauce. More cheese, less sauce. In Romania. There you have still it. good. Mm. Good. Like we it. are gonna gain some weight today. I'm watching you eat that and thinking I should buy a couple pieces of pizza, man. This is our first meal of the day, including with that bread. <laughs> That's it. Nice. All right. All right, let's keep going. Mm -hmm. Lots more to eat here in <laughs> Romania. Let's go. <laughs> this is my job in our relationship. This is my job. Official crust finisher. By the way, welcome to uh, Las Vegas, the Bellagio or something. We've stumbled into this pretty amazing fountain. I will say the crust is super plain because no sauce. I could go for a little bit of corvage crust, sesame seed crust. I'm sure it exists somewhere in Romania. That being said, um, breakfast is over, time for lunch. Going to a market that's only happening on the weekends should be pretty exciting. Let's go. <laughs> in the mist. <laughs> Good one, guys. <laughs> And just like that, it is now tomorrow. What happened yesterday was we were walking along and we bumped into a guy named Bert from the YouTube channel Food X Bert, which I think mm -hmm. is a pretty clever channel name. And we ended up shooting an entire video with him for his channel at an antiques market. So check this out. We'll give you a little sneak peek of the video we were featured in. Anyway, the vlog continues. This guy's really fun. Really nice. This guy's really fun. <laughs> it's really good, guys. And it's not that heavy. I will... Rapid Bucharest! Rapid Bucharest! Oh, yeah. He's one of my friends that I believe. Yes, yeah, Rapid Bucharest, the good team. Yes. Football team. Oh, football! And the workers. The nice. workers. The workers is 1923. Oh. This board. It's the Royals. Workers, oh. the Royals. That's your football team. Yeah. I know. German. German. <laughs> yes. No good. No good. No good. No good. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Every team is okay. No problem. Yeah. So honestly, we had a great time. I think Bert has a pretty good video on his hands because the locals in that antiques market were hilarious. So he's got a bunch of good local interaction and just hilarious people and having a good time. Big shout out to Bert. Um, at the end of this video, we'll link to his channel, but now it's tomorrow, which is okay because it's Sunday now and the market we were heading to is still open. So we can restart our video. We're gonna meet up with Michael now from Dodo Explorers and uh, go hunt for some food in a Romanian market. Yes, so excited. Let's go. All right, so Turg actually means fair. So we're at a little fair here. It's sort of one strip. Unfortunately, seems like a good 60% of all the stalls are closed. There is some nice stuff, baskets here. We saw a restaurant down there that looked so good. I would have been so excited to buy some food there, but it's closed, unfortunately. So not sure why it's closed, because it's Sunday, but maybe it's just not a busy time of year or something like that. Maybe we'll go for a cold juice up here, some fresh fruit juice on a hot day. All right, let's go. Yes, yes. Anchovies. Uh, this is a famous Romanian fisherman food. Yeah, they love it in Malaysia too, but I never, Anchovies. I never got used to it. It was authentic. Yes. Yeah, it's um, this one. You, you, from, from, from the Black Sea. Ah, okay, okay. From the Black Sea. You go first, Michael. You show us how it's done. Show us how it's done. Canada. Yes. Canada. My friend Romania. Yes. Canada. Okay. Um, you like this? Hey. Whoa. Try it, Steve. I don't. I, I. don't think I like it. I'm sorry. I feel bad because she's right there. She's so nice. So everything, like bones, it. everything, yeah, everything. Crunchy. The one in Malaysia, I tried over the course of one year to, to like it, and I could not. Like it. <laughs> Maybe it will be different. 
It's different, but still not my favorite. <laughs> Anchovies. This is not nearly as salty. The one in Malaysia is so salty. Uh, There's still some salt on the lemon if you want, or some lemon, but it's not bad. Let me try. Let me try here. Yes, it's good. So this is traditional Romanian food uh, from the Black Sea. Yeah. Yes. You're gonna like it, Ivana. Watch this. Not bad. Like anchovy. Does it make you crave nasi lemak? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we, can make nasi lemak with this. we should make nasi lemak with black sea anchovies. Stay tuned for that vlog. Making nasi lemak with black sea anchovies. Stay similar to the Malaysian one. Not as salty. Mm -hmm. no, actually. Very good. Okay, uh, anchovy taste test part two. Yes. The lovely lady who is not charging us anything said yes. she put some garlic. Yes. Sauce. Yeah, so it's like it's for you to try. Yes. And, and you said how much? She goes, ah, it's okay. Oh, sounds like sauerkraut almost. Yep. Is it sauerkraut? No, it's just garlic. Garlic. But it packs a punch. Better? Whoa, quite garlicky. <laughs> I quite told good you. actually. It packs, but it packs a punch. Yep. Whoa. Mm. I'm gonna have bad breath tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be garlic breath. Garlic but, breath. Um, the fish flavor is completely masked. It's completely gone, fish flavor. Mm. Um, Let me try it. It's almost spicy. There's so much garlic. Chris, do you know what I mean? You can almost yeah. taste the garlic in your nose. All right. But I would say I prefer this than the uh, plain version. Yeah, that's why they mm. use the garlic. Mm. So that they can they take the fish. Well, it's fresh it. garlic too. It's yes. fresh garlic and it's wow. It's so good though. It's in your face. It's now like, it's so I, good. I, I love I the garlic. For like the people over there can smell my breath. Hey, we're in Romania, so it's good for the Dracula to yes. stay away from oh, Jack. Oh, good one, Ivana. Yes. <laughs> good one. Good one. Good the vampires away. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. Susie, fresh juice. Fresh juice and keep walking. So this is like a lemonade. Thank you. Like a lemonade. Uh, 10 lei for one liter. It's ice cold. It's like uh -huh. half frozen. Oh, wow. And with flowers. Oh, wow. um, flowers. What kind of flowers, flowers, you know? Edel flowers. Edel flowers. Edel flowers. Very nice. So, well, the guys actually sealed the bottle. It's a real It's a real seal. I thought it was like a homemade thing. But the bottle is cracking. Yeah. Okay, impressive. Edelweiss um, flower lemonade. Homemade, no? Homemade. I don't know how you got the cap on like that. Anyway, <laughs> they have a thing. Oh, that's very nice. Good. Oh, that's right. what you need after Fresh? your mouth is Does garlic taste? and anchovy. Does it taste like this flour? Is good. It tastes like lemonade with a hint of flour. Not too sweet. Maybe no sugar, actually. Oh. No added sugar. Okay. Really nice. good. Really refreshing. Good. Yum. I gotta All get right. that garlic and uh, <laughs> fish out of my mouth. You'll love this, Ivana. So good. Uh, yep. 10 lei, can't go wrong. Yes. We'll say, I'm ready for some meat. All right, let's, let's go. Let's go hunt through Bucharest for some meat. Let's go. Because a meat a day <laughs> keeps the vampires away. I don't know, but meat a day is good. Let's go. <laughs> You're talking about garlic, huh? Yeah. This nice. Great, some street corn. I wanted a uh, grilled corn. Yeah, this, is, this Salted seems to be. And grilled corn. This seems to be a popular street food here in Especially Romania. Especially this time of year, I think it's in season. Yeah, there's the grilled one and there's the boiled one mm -hmm. right here. So. How much? I got three. It's 12. 12. Six each. Yes. All right. Six lay each. Corn in the park. Mm. Pretty sweet corn. Sweet. I, like mm -hmm. I will say I like the way it's blacked Sweet up. Sweet and salty. I like the way it's a little bit charred. Charred, yeah, yeah. That's the right level. In Indonesia, of, uh... I would put sambal. With sambal, it'll be. Oh, that would be really good. Mm -hmm. This one is still good though. Mm. This is a snack on the way to the beach. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. So here we are at the waterfront, and before we get our match, we'll get something called school fiargo ardenale. <laughs> Good try, Ivana. Good Why try. Why is it so long? <laughs> uh, it's like a dessert, like a donut type thing. Yeah, I think so. Awesome. You can have it yeah. sweet, you can have it salty. Okay, I'll have whatever is in the picture. Okay, cool. Ooh. It's taking a bath. Taking a bath in oil. Hot oil. More of a dessert. It's actually quite uh, filling. Yeah, you can choose sour cream, garlic sauce, and cheese. Yeah, you can have a salty one with cheese and garlic sauce, or the jam. Two types of cheese. Yeah, sweet ones. It just made me hungry looking at, looking at her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, this costs ten lei. 
Let's see how it tastes. Which seems to be the standard price yeah. for street food in Romania. Yes, that's right. One serving ten lei. Around like, yeah, which is like, which is good. 250 American, too bad, something yeah. like that. Yeah. I gotta say, this is very um, street food Ooh. in Asia style. It's fried, <laughs> it's cheese, it's, yeah, it's like garlic, it's sauce. Donut and, face. Yeah, just the way okay. it is. It's, it's uh, very familiar to us from yeah. our travels. What did they put on top? It looks like milk. I think it might have been a sweet condensed milk, yeah, which again like is very street milk. food. It's gonna be sweet, it's gonna be cheese, it's gonna be fried. It's, it's very street food uh, from Asia almost. Ooh, it's hot. Let's yeah, see. yeah, I got one too. And you got the same, same, same. Yeah, I got the same. That's Very right. Nice. I think they put like two different types of cheese. Yes. Yeah. Let's try. Don't be shy. Still Don't be hot. Shy. Don't be shy. It's gonna be goopy and and nice. Mmm. It's so good. It's amazing. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Cheesy. Wow. What you is the stuff on top? Do you know? Um. Let me try. Garlic sauce. It's not milk. Oh, it's garlic yeah. sauce on top. It's not condensed milk. No, no, no. So two types of cheese and garlic sauce on top. And sweet, uh, sorry, sour cream on the bottom. Yes, and sour cream on the bottom. And the dough itself is so crispy. Yeah, and, yeah, and fresh fried. Yeah, and the inside is like really smooth. It's so good. There you have it, guys. Mm. I'm, I'm surprised mm. you found that in Romania. It seems very, oh, yeah, yeah, it looks good. Mm. Nice. Juicy awesome. and garlicky. What else can you ask for? But to be clear, it's time for the main event. In my city, there's something like this, but mm -hmm. the cheese is usually in the middle. Mm. So okay. Like, oh, it's all wrapped inside. Oh, okay. Wow. Same idea. Same idea, but inside wrapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to be clear, it's time for the main event, mm -hmm. which is the meat. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Now, to be clear, Meech is not exactly street food. We're sort of sneaking this one in the video because Meech is too good and I just want to eat it and I just have to make a video about it. Say again? Street food. It's not exactly street food. I do like Ivana's strategy of doing it this way. This might be wrong. This might be sacrilege in the Meech community. But you hit it with some mustard and then what I would do is I'd put a pickle like this. And this is the ultimate Meech bite. Mmm. 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 Can't say enough how good meat is. It's so simple and it's so good. Mm -hmm. The word meat actually means little ones or small ones. So if you say, do you want some meat? You're saying, do you want some little ones? That's what they call it. The rumor online is it was created by a guy who was trying to make sausages in the, 18, in the 1800s, but he didn't have the casing. He ran out of the casing. So he made this new kind of smaller, Loose meat sausage. Whether that's true or not, good. whether that's true or not, we don't know. But that's the rumor on the uh, like the like the like the urban legend. Or something. Right, right, right. Um, I will say, according to Wikipedia, um, Romanians eat 440 million meat every wow. year, which is <laughs> mind blowing. Number, which, if you do the math, means about um, 220 meat per person per year. Wow. It seems unbelievable, but honestly, guys, it's so good. It started off mostly as uh, beef or lamb, I believe. Uh, nowadays, pork is in it, but if you put the mustard on it and a beer delivery just to top it off. Thanks, buddy. And we're at this like, place, like yeah. a terrace kind of It's thing. sort of street yeah. foody, yeah. but although meat, I don't think qualifies as street food exactly. I think it is. It's a uh, street food. This is what you want right here. This is just ultimate. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. Five right. stars. Let's be clear. Six stars from each. Yeah, it's that good. You must pair it with mustard, yes. pickles, yes. and a beer. Yes. That's, that's the proper way. Mustard, pickles, and a beer. It's right. it's it's just the good stuff. Pickles, strong flavor, very delicious. Mustard, kind of a strong flavor. But then meat. It's just the good stuff. It's just what you want. Mm. <laughs> mm. Five stars. Five stars. Six stars. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys in the next video. Yes. Bye. Bye-bye. Yo, guys. This is the first time a man sees a 360 video. You've seen this before? It's unbelievable. So we bumped into a guy named Bert who's, um, see, looking, as you turn the phone, you turn in the shot. It's unbelievable. Can you see? <laughs> 
What kind of vlogger does It's VR. Know this? It's VR. <laughs> I never saw this in my life. So you got to get a camera that can shoot 360, and then it's a lot of work to watch because you got to look, you got to turn, you got to like. You can like check it out. Right. Never saw that in my life. Anyway, guys, we're gonna explore this antique market quickly with our new friend Bert. Jump over to his channel, link up here to see uh, his video. I think he's not filming 360 today. He's filming regular. But I never saw a 360 video before. 